But if we take cuttings from our plant, it sends a signal to the plant that it needs to send out new growth to replace the foliage it has lost. There is one houseplant care tip that will really make your plants grow faster with thick lush growth and it's something you're probably not doing enough of because you might be thinking it will harm your plants. This tip is something I do weekly to my plants and has tons of benefits that I'll explain in this video. You may be buying your plants and leaving them to grow on your windowsill or fireplace mantle untouched. This tends to be what many beginner plant owners do with their plants. There's a common misconception that house plants are fragile and shouldn't be touched for fear of killing them. This leaves beginners with straggly and unhealthy looking plants that are in desperate need of a haircut. The truth is though that pruning your plants is one of the best things you can do for your plants and a really important habit to get into if you want to have healthy looking plants. You may fear making cuts on your plants. Pruning the stem of your plant will not kill that stem. In fact, the opposite is true. In most cases, your plant will send out two new shoots on the part of the stem where you made the cut. This is most apparent on jade plants. Cut the stem of a jade plant and two new stems will form in its place. It's a really great way to make your plant bush out and encourage faster growth. The same applies to most of the plants we own. I regularly cut my ficus plants to get them to branch out into multiple stems to achieve a tree-like structure that I prefer with these plants. I cut my rubber tree in half in a recent video to control the way it was leaning and you can see multiple shoots have developed from where I made the cut. I do have a large ficus elastica teneki that I cut back last year that did only produce one new stem, but I'm not concerned about that. I know if I cut again, I'll probably get two new stems to sprout. Vining plants such as philodendrons and pothos respond in the same way. I regularly take cuttings from these plants and new shoots always regrow where I made the cuts. The same happens with my large Monstera deliciosa. I've propagated this plant multiple times as well as pruning to tidy it up and new shoots have always come through. You can be quite drastic with pruning if you need to be, like I was with my rubber tree, and the great thing is we can turn our cuttings into three new plants. Taking regular cuttings of your plant encourages much more vigorous growth. This may sound a little counterintuitive, but if we take cuttings from our plant, it sends a signal to the plant that it needs to send out new growth to replace the foliage it has lost. This results in a growth spurt on your plant with the plant growing leaves at a quicker rate than before you made the cuts. This flush of new growth results in a healthier plant because you are essentially getting rid of old and tired foliage and replacing with new leaf tissue and your plant ends up looking much healthier. I mentioned my rubber tree earlier and the reason I made such a drastic cut on the plant was because it was leaning over and the leaves were also looking quite tired with damage from curious kids breaking leaves etc. I took away all that foliage and it is now being replaced with newer, healthier looking leaves. I have noticed that it's pushed out these leaves in the same time it would have pushed out a single leaf previously. So the plant has put on a growth spurt since I made the cut. In time, the plant will grow to be as large as it once was, but with nicer, healthier looking leaves. The great thing about pruning our plants regularly is that not only is it great for the health of our plants, but it also gives us more and more free plants. From the rubber tree I mentioned earlier, I've been able to take about 30 cuttings from the plant that will each turn into individual rubber tree plants. I probably won't be able to fit all of them in my house, so I'll probably end up selling most of them on Facebook Marketplace, so it's a great way to earn a little extra cash too. Tradescantias are a super prolific growing plant and regularly needs pruning back to keep it looking neat and tidy. And I've lost count of the amount of plants I've propagated from the Tradescantias I have. It must be in the hundreds and I've been able to sell lots of them on Facebook. Just make sure not to sell painted plants because this will get you into hot water. I've got a video on this topic that I'll link to in the description of this video. You now know why you need to prune your plants and turn them into cuttings, but you next need to watch this video here to learn five reasons why plant cuttings fail to root so that you can become an expert plant propagator.